Hello, welcome to E2MIS 104 Part B, Shelter Point for Households, also known as Families. I am your trainer, E2MIS Program Specialist, Shante Smith. During this training, we will be working in the Shelter Point module within Service Point. This module is specific to those projects who want to track their daily bed utilization. We will go through the steps of checking clients who enter your project in and out of a bed. We will also work through some examples and a possible scenario that may occur. Please note that if you have any questions, to contact us at the HMIS Help Desk via email at hmissupport at cir.org or by phone or text at 602-908-3605. Thank you, and let's get started. Once you log into the system, go to the left side of your screen to the menu and locate the Shelter Point button. Once you click it, the Shelter Point dashboard page will appear. You will see a header that says View Shelter Inventory. Beneath that header, you will see your provider listed. And underneath the provider, you will see a drop-down list titled Unit List. Please keep in mind that your provider may have multiple unit lists available. You will select the appropriate unit list you wish to view and click the Submit button to the right of the unit list option. The Shelter Point dashboard provides different options of which you can use to check a client into your project as well as other tools to help manage your project shelter inventory. The Check Client In button is used when you are ready to check your client into a bed at your project. The Check In Reservation button is used when you have a client that has reserved a bed space at your project. You are able to reserve the bed for them until they arrive. The Check In Referral button is used when a client has been referred to your agency through Service Point by another agency. The Hold All Empty Beds button is used very rarely. Your project has the ability to place a hold on all empty beds for a certain amount of time. The Print ID Cards button is also rarely used. By using this button, you are able to print ID cards for your clients. The ID cards would be then scanned using specific equipment in order to track specific services provided. This option requires customized training. If your agency is interested in utilizing this option, please send inquiries to the HMIS Help Desk. The Update Confirmation List button is also rarely used. It is a feature that aids in confirming the individuals checked into your project's shelter inventory. The Transmit Today's Checkout List button is used for shelter projects who do mass checkouts daily. Within this feature, you are able to check out selected clients all at once. The View All button is used when you wish to view the entire shelter inventory list. Now please return to the home screen to work through an example of checking a client into a bed using the Check Client In option. A client and her family has presented to my project for shelter. They have been accepted and it is my responsibility to check them into a unit. To review how to get to your Shelter Point dashboard, repeat the following steps. Go to the left side of your screen to the menu and locate the Shelter Point button. Once you click it, the Shelter Point dashboard page will appear. You will see a header that says View Shelter Inventory. Beneath that header, you will see your provider listed, and underneath the provider, you will see a drop down list titled Unit List. Please keep in mind that your provider may have multiple unit lists available. You will select the appropriate list you wish to view and click the Submit button to the right of the Unit List option. Next, locate the Check Client In button. Once I click the button, the screen will change to reflect my shelter inventory information. A current list will now show. If a unit is open and not occupied, you will see on the left side of the screen a green circle with the plus sign. And along that same line to the right of your screen, you will see a hyperlink that says empty. To check a family into a unit, you can either click on the empty hyperlink or the green circle with the plus sign. Once you do, your screen will change to reflect the client search option. 
You are able to search for your client that is to be checked into this bed by their name or by their designated HMIS client ID number. In this case, the client I will search for is the head of household, since this is the person who's presenting to my project for help. Now, since I know my client's HMIS ID number, I will type it in and click Submit. You are unable to be in backdate mode while working in the shelter point module. Because of this, you must, I repeat, you must make sure the date in is the actual date your client began to occupy that unit. You must manually change it yourself. As a special note, for those projects that check a family into a unit and then go to create an entry into your project, the date in must match the same day they entered your project. Once you've changed the date in to reflect the correct data, you will look for the section titled Household Members. You will notice that the name of the first person listed, in this case, the head of household, is already checkmarked. This means that my client, Hillary Swink, is the main person occupying this unit. Then, I need to make sure the other family members are also checked in. To do that, I will check mark the names of those checking into the unit as well. Please keep in mind, if there are names on the list that are no longer residing with this family, then do not check mark their names. As a special note, only the head of household is checked into the actual unit. The other members of the family are automatically checked in to what is called the overflow. Then, make sure all of the information listed is correct and then look to the bottom right side of the screen and click the Save and Exit button. You will then be returned to your shelter's current unit list. Here, you will see the head of household is checked into the unit you check them into and towards the bottom of the list, you will see the other family members checked in what is called the overflow. To see the family all together, you can sort your unit list by group ID. If you prefer to keep it the other way, you are more than welcome to do so. As another side note, when you check a client into a unit at your project, a service of shelter stay will automatically be created. To view the shelter stay, you can click on your client's name so that the unit stay entry data screen appears. Next, you will locate the Jump to Profile button located at the bottom left-hand side and click it. A warning box will appear asking if you want to leave the unit stay entry data screen to go to the client's profile. This is where you will choose Yes. You will be directed to your client's profile. From there, click on the Service Transactions tab to be directed to the Service Transactions dashboard. Locate the button that says View Shelter Stays and click it. Your screen will then direct you to your client's shelter stay history. At this point, please return to Shelter Point. As a quick note, in the event that you accidentally checked the wrong client into the unit, there is an easy fix. You will have to go to the View All button to see your current shelter inventory list. This is where you will locate the head of household and click on their name. Once you do, the Unit Stay Entry data screen will appear and you will look to the bottom for the button that says delete this shelter stay and click it. 
Once you do, a warning box will appear asking if you want to delete the shelter state, and then you will click Delete. Please keep in mind that for family groups, you will have to click on each family member's name from the unit list to delete each shelter stay individually. Deleting the head of household does not delete the other family members. If you run into an issue like this, please don't hesitate to contact the HMIS support team at the HMIS help desk. We will assist you in correcting the mistake. Now, please return to the home screen to work through an example of checking a family into a unit using the View All option. To review how to get to your ShelterPoint dashboard, repeat the following steps. Go to the left side of your screen to the menu and locate the ShelterPoint button. Once you click it, the ShelterPoint dashboard page will appear. You will see a header that says View Shelter Inventory. Beneath that header, you will see your provider listed, and underneath the provider, you will see a drop-down list titled Unit List. Please keep in mind that your provider may have multiple unit lists available. You will select the appropriate list you wish to view and click the Submit button to the right of the Unit List option. Since I am unaware of current available beds in my project, I will select the View All option to see my shelter's entire unit list. Once I click that option, the screen will change to reflect the current unit list information. Once I have viewed the list for availability, I will select an open unit to check my head of household and their family into using the same steps we just worked through. Now return to the home screen to work through the next example. When you are ready to check your family out of a unit, you will repeat all the same steps to get yourself to the shelter unit list. You will then locate the head of household you are trying to exit and look for the red circle with the minus sign on the left side of the page. You will click that circle and it will direct you to the Unit Exit data screen. And just like on the entry, you must make sure the date out is the correct date your head of household and family was checked out of that unit since you are unable to be in backdate mode. Then you will check mark the names of all the clients with that family group exiting the project. Then you will verify that all of the information listed on the page is correct. Scroll to the bottom and locate the Save and Exit button and click it. You will again be redirected to your unit list to show the most current data. Now you may return to the home screen. Since we have now worked through how to properly enter and exit a household from a unit, let's work through a scenario. For example, if a head of household was checked into unit number three when they first came into project, but something happened and they needed to be moved to another unit, we would need to reflect that change in the system. To do that, you will repeat all the steps as before to get to your shelter unit list. You will then locate the head of household you wish to move and click on their name, the hyperlink, and it will direct you to their unit entry data screen. Underneath the date in, you will see the unit name number field. 
On that same line, to the right of the screen, you will see a button that says Assign Unit. Once you click it, a little box will pop up on your screen with your project's name and then Unit List or All Beds. You will use the drop-down menu to select the appropriate unit you would like to move your client to, and then click the button that says Select. After clicking the Select button, you will notice the change on your Unit Entry screen that shows the unit number, meaning your head of household no longer occupies unit number 3, your head of household now occupies unit number 8. The other family members will still be automatically checked into the overflow. You do not need to move them anywhere. Once you've changed the head of household unit number, please keep in mind that you are not going to change the date in. This date in is associated to the, the day they began occupying that unit within your project. If you change the date in to the day they began occupying this new unit, you will lose the unit data prior to this. Just to reiterate, do not change the date in listed on the unit data screen if your head of household has switched units. Leave it at the original date listed. Then, as always, you will review the information on your screen and make sure it is all correct. And then scroll to the bottom of your page and click Save and Exit. You will automatically be redirected to your shelter unit list and at this point you may now return to your home screen. To reiterate a few key points, let's look over the summary. Your shelter project may use multiple unit lists. Please make sure you have selected the correct one prior to checking a family into a unit. Also, not all buttons on the shelter point inventory are used. You are able to check a family into a unit using the Check Client In button or the View All button. The View All button is where you are able to view your shelter's entire inventory list, also known as the unit list. Also, only the head of household is checked into a unit. Children and all other family members are automatically checked in what is called the overflow. When checking a family into a unit, you are unable to be in backdate mode. Please be sure that the date in matches the actual date the family began to occupy that unit. Keep in mind, if a family switches units, you do not update the date in field. Lastly, once a family has checked into a unit, a service of shelter stay is automatically created in the background. To view the head of household's past shelter stays, you will go to the service transaction dashboard on the client's record. By following these steps and working through the examples and a scenario, you have completed training on HMIS 104 Part B, Shelter Point for Families, also known as Households. As a reminder, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at the HMIS Help Desk via email at hmissupport at cir.org or by phone or text at 602-908-3605. Thank you, and please refer back to your training confirmation email for further instructions.